Hey there, my friends. It's Jen Pitta with By the Shore Stamping. Happy Tuesday. So today I'm actually looking, I was looking for something super fast and easy because I only have a few minutes today. It's a super crazy busy week. So I was trying to rack my brain to figure out what it is that people always ask me all the time. And one of the things that I get asked often is how to tie a bow. I know it sounds silly. We all learned how to tie our shoes probably when we were in, you know, first grade or what have you. But it can be really tricky to tie a bow on a card. So I'm going to give you my tips and tricks. I'm not sure if they'll transfer through the video or not, but I figured it'd be worth a shot because I do have a couple of things that I do automatically um, that most people probably don't do. But um, hopefully, I'm going to tie a couple of different bows, and hopefully you'll be able to see the my tips and tricks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some um, ribbon first, and I'm going to use a ribbon here that actually is um, got different patterns on both sides, because I think that's going to illustrate um, one of the te techniques that I use really well, and something that's really kind of important when you're tying a bow. All right, so it may be easiest if you grab some paper and a some ribbon and try and do this along with me just because the more you do it the easier it's going to get um, it definitely takes practice when I first started doing this I remember clearly when my upline first started um, I first started taking classes with the demonstrator that I signed up under she made amazing bows and I just couldn't figure it out my bows always looked dumb I couldn't figure out what was going on and eventually I caught on and, and learned my own tips and tricks and um, now I find that a lot of people without practice, I mean, I've been doing this for 11 years, so um, it's kind of second nature to me. I don't even think about it anymore, um, but hopefully these will help you. So what I want you to do first is you want to obviously make sure your ribbon is flat underneath your paper, and then you're going to flop the two sides over, and you're going to do left over right. And you can actually do left over right or right over left. You just want to make sure you keep in mind which way you go first. So I'm making like a little X with my ribbon. So see how there's a little X there? So now I'm going to take my left side because I'm I'm doing left over right and I'm going to tuck it underneath here. Okay? So you can see because the ribbon is two different patterns, you can see how I have the dotted lines here and the X's are here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this top one and I'm gonna flip it so that the dotted lines are facing up as well, okay? So now I've got dotted, dotted, and then the X's across, see that? All right, so it's gonna be really hard for me to remember to do this as I'm slowing it down. So now I usually just take one of my fingers here and I plop either my ring finger or my middle finger and I kind of hold that down in place. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do right over left. So this is my left side. So I'm gonna kind of just plop that over. And now I'm gonna do, oh, actually I'm doing a knot here, not a bow. So actually, never mind. disregard that. That's if I'm doing a knot. We want to do a bow. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so I've got this like this. Now, actually, I'm going to use my pointy finger here to hold that. I'm going to make a little loop in this bottom one, okay? So I've got one little rabbit ear here, and now I'm going to go back to holding it with my ring finger. On the other hand, I'm going to take this side, and I'm going to wrap it around that bow. And then I've got this in my hand, in my two fingers here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna tuck it through and I'm pushing it on the, the one I'm holding under here. So I've got this hand, this finger right here is holding this down. I'm gonna wrap this around and I'm gonna take this piece that's in my hand and I'm gonna push it into that thing, ring finger that's holding that piece down. Then I transfer my fingers and I grab that little loop and I pull it through. And there you have your little bow. Um, now obviously when you first do it, it looks like this. And this was something I was surprised people didn't um, understand either. I don't leave it like that obviously. In order to get the nice rich bow that you want, you're just going to kind of fluff it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those stems. Sometimes I'll pull them so it's shorter than I actually want it and then I tighten it up a little bit with my fingers. Just kind of pull in both directions and then I can kind of floof it that way. And then I would just trim off the ends. Okay, so let's do it one more time with this ribbon because I think it's the easiest one to see. So we've got um, lines out like this. We're going to flop them over and I'm going to do left, my left side over the right side to make a little X. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull this. I'm going to tuck it under. So I'm actually kind of looping it around that and pulling it straight down. And then I'm going to turn this one 
so that it is um, facing up like that too, okay? Now I'm gonna take my ring finger on my left hand and I'm gonna hold that little knot in place, okay? I'm gonna pull it tight at the top, straighten out my cardstock. Now I'm gonna actually switch to my pointy finger here, hold that down, make my little loop, okay? Then I'm going back, I'm holding that knot again with my uh, ring finger. This is how I get a nice tight tie, is because I'm not, I'm never letting this, this ribbon, this base ribbon kind of pop up too much. Now I'm going to take this corner, I mean this ribbon, and I'm going to wrap it around my little bunny ear. And now I'm taking this little piece and I'm pushing it through up against my fingers here. And then I'm just going to switch and I'm going to pull those out. Okay. Now I've got that wonky little bow going on, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull on the ends, tighten that out, and then fluff it. And then you would just go ahead and um, tie it. I have found you can sometimes, if you want, to tie a knot first. So if you're tying a knot, you would hold this piece in place. And now instead of doing the little bow, Whatever you started with, so if you did left over right to begin with, you would do right over left this time. So I'm going to flop this over, and then I'm going to do right over this left one. So see how it's making that little X again. And I'm going to tuck that under and pull, whoops, and pull that through. Oh, hold on. See, I can't talk and do this. Okay. So right over left. Hold on. <laughs> It's really hard to do this when you've got an audience. Oh, okay, so that's why. So you're gonna kind of make the little loop here so it kind of folds over like that. Then I'm doing the right over left like that and then tuck it under. Okay, and I actually let go of the bottom here so it's not tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. And then I'm just gonna tie. And when you pull the knot, you wanna make sure you don't do really, this ribbon probably doesn't matter as much but if you pull really tight on a thick ribbon, it makes it like this really tiny um, wrinkly knot instead of the really pretty bold knot, which I'll show you in a second. So you want to make sure you don't pull too, too tight because it makes it a little less fluffy. So let's try this one with a thicker ribbon so you can see the difference. All right, so this time I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to go ahead, whoops, my hair. And I'm going to tie this thicker powder pink ribbon here. So we're going to do the same thing to start. We're going to go left over right. So I'm making my little X. I'm tucking that under. And then I'm twisting this top one. So I'm getting the underside of the ribbon at the top. So now the underside of both is up, facing up and down here. And then I didn't really give myself a whole lot of space here. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the knot part, which hold this down. We're going to flop this over in like a little loopy thing here. So it's got like a little turn here and then turn the ribbon in that direction so it's pointing off to the right there then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to fold it under there and then pull it out now this one I'm going to pull it loosely so see how that's a nice cute little knot I'm pulling it loosely until it's tight enough and then I would just trim trim and you've got a pretty little knot so there are my tips for you when you're um, tying knots or bows. Hopefully that's helpful for you. <laughs> Hopefully that's helpful for you. If it is, please leave me a comment below. And of course, if you love these videos, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my Teach Me Tuesday videos. And I'll be back again next week with a new video for you. And I appreciate you watching so much. Have a great week.